Here's just another example, example five. Two ln of the quantity x plus three equals ln of the quantity 12x. Okay, so I wanna get rid of this two that's in front here. I don't like that two sitting in front there. So I'm gonna put it inside there and make that square. Here we go. Now, I can raise both sides to the ln power, or to, I can compose both sides with a exponential function base e. Like that. And then the, the e to the ln will cancel on both sides. And I get x plus three squared equals 12x. So I'm not dividing both sides by ln, that makes no sense, because ln of 12x is not ln times 12x. That makes no sense. I'm composing both sides with the exponential function base e. And write that down that way. That's a smart way to do it. Okay, so now I've just got, I've gotten rid of my logarithms. I just have this polynomial equation. So I need to multiply out the left side, combine the like terms. So I get x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 12x. Subtract the 12x on the left x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 0. That's going to be x minus 3, the quantity squared, equals 0. That means x equals 3. And so I only got one solution. Now, on these logarithm equations, always take your answer and plug it in and see if it works. In, in this case, you'll see it works. So on the left side, 2 ln of 3 plus 3 ln of 6 is approximately 3.58. On the right side, you have ln of 36 when you plug in the 3, which is the same. Okay, so you should check these. Because sometimes these logarithm equations will give you answers that are not real answers. They're spurious answers.